Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever part of the world you are. So welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make this pumpkin, crochet pumpkin, because Halloween is coming. It's only a week away. So here's our material. I'm going to use a size 4 hook scissor a needle and a mark uh, counter and of course the very important one is the fiber fill so you can buy this on any crop store and yarn of course I'm using brown and yellow so let's start so first, we're going to do a slip knot. And we're going to make a chain of 24. So on this size, I make chain 24. Three, twenty-four plus one, so it's total of twenty-five chain. So next, we're going to skip this one, and you're going to do half double crochet across that twenty-four chain that you make twenty-five because you skip that one, so it's only total of twenty-four. Chain. So just do half double crochet across. So continue yours and I'll be back to you what we're going to do on the next row. So I'm almost finished. So next, you're going to do chain one, turn your project. So from uh, this row until you finish, you're going to do half double crochet across again, but only using the back loop. Okay, you just only grab the back loop of the chain so instead of using all these two you're just using the back loop okay so we do chain one turn and then half double crochet on this chain so you're going to skip this one you continue on the next so half double crochet using the back loop only so you're doing this pattern over and over until you reach a 28 rows of half double crochet back loop only so if you want like a a bigger size so you can add more chain or if you want a smaller size then you can make like only 25 or 20 rows it's depend on you how big you want your pumpkin but this pattern is like a medium size this size so it's 28 rows so just continue doing half double crochet back loop only 
up double crochet back loop only So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you will help me to grow my YouTube channel. And to all my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will know if I'm uploading new videos or new tutorial so we can learn together. So again, thank you so much for all of you and for not yet subscribing or you're just visiting on my page. Please help me grow my channel. Please do subscribe and share the video and like the video. So I'm my, my last chain. So always don't confuse on the last one because He's always hiding. Oops. Chain one, turn, and repeat the pattern. So do that over and over until you reach your 28 rows, and I'll be back to you what we're going to do on the next rounds just continue half double crochet using the back loop only so if you're kind of like a little bit miss uh, or you think that i'm too fast or you miscount you can pause the video and you can go back and start again but I'm trying not to make it pass for you so you will follow so this pattern is very very easy even a crochet beginner will get how I do this pumpkin crochet pumpkin okay so just continue doing that and I'll be back to you when we're done on our 28 rows of half double crochet. So I'm done on my 28 rows of half double crochet. So I'm still not cutting my yarn. So try to look which one you want to be your front side. So, so I'm just in this one. So you need to fold it and do a slip stitch to connect them together. just to slip stitch So if you want to make like a single crochet, it's also fine because we're going to turn over this so it's still going to hide it. So for me, I just want to do like a slip stitch all the way to the end. So just do yours and I'll show you what we're going to do next. And please don't cut your yarn so now I do slip stitch on the corner 
and you need to make like a enough yarn to sew them later then you can cut so next Just take your, take out your hook and pull this through so it's secure and then put your needle Oops. so now you're going to do so this so you just do in and out in and out so there's no specific way how to do this just do make in and out in and out your needle on top on my oops where did I begin here a little bit more again don't cut your yarn and then turn it over and you can feel with your fiber fit so fill until it's enough soft then so just keep on filling so like what I told you don't cut your yarn so again we're going to sew on top in and out in and out again of your needle so the size of your pumpkin is depend how you put the fiber feel inside if you put a lot or like uh, like how I do this your pumping will going to be big enough but if you want to put a little bit uh, fiber feel inside the pumpkin it's going to be not so big it's going to be like this tiny so it's depend how you feel the pumpkin so this one I feel a lot of fiber feel so it's look like bigger than this one 
although they have the same count the same 28 rows but because I feel too much fiber feel that's why it's going to be a little bit bigger on the other pumpkin that we do that I do so where did I start okay I almost there and then now I can pull it to close and then so it so don't have any hole almost done so next so now we're going to put the edges of the pumpkin so me so I put marker on each of the three spacing so I know where I'm going to put my yarn to have their spacing to make this spacing on your pumpkin but if you want your pumpkin like not so perfect spacing like what I do here is like small big small big so it's up to you so this one I make it like a perfect spacing like I do every three space so one two three then put your marker one two three put your marker one two one two three put your marker one two three put your marker so let's start so i'm going to start here so put your needle under push it Oops. So make sure and then you can pull it, okay? So next you're going to the other side. You put the other marker, then you can take off the marker and pull it. So, next you're going on the other side, okay? You can take out your marker. It. So now you're on the other side. You go under again. So take out the marker and pull it again. That's why I told you you need to have like a long enough tail so we don't need to cut and cut and cut. So we just continue doing this sewing it so it's more it's strong because we don't have any cut we just continues okay so so that's your pumpkin so you can see it evenly. So you can I 
gituan you can hide that so now you will decide which one you want to be on the top so this one or this one so it's up to you Almost done. Cut. And you can hide the excess. Okay, now it's hide. So next, we're going to make the handle. So how to do that? You just make chain of 10 and then you're going to make a single crochet five rows. The rows of five, five rows. So I'm using the same hook, but I'm using different yarn. So you make chain of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So I have my chain of ten. So you're going to do single crochet across on that chain 10 that you do. So do that until you make 5 rows of single crochet. then you're going to chain one when you reach at the end chain one turn and then single crochet across again and then chain one turn single crochet across until you make a rows of five of single crochet so just keep doing that and i show you what we're going to do on next step so I'm done on my five rows of single crochet and again don't cut your yarn up. so I'm done on my five rows of single crochet so again leave uh, enough tail to sew on the pumpkin so before you cut it so okay I'm going to cut it now and then slip stitch oh no chain one and then take out your hook so now we're going to use the needle again to sew so just pull and try to put this excess yarn so if you want your handle to be like uh, a bit uh, hard or stronger you can fill with the fiber fill or some of the yarn okay so I'm going to fill some of the yarn and then you just sew it depend on you you can sew it 
uh, just back and forth or you can sew it slip knot or you can sew it anything you want so as you can see I fill with some of the extra yarn I have so it's going to be a little bit bulky there's no specific way if you have a better idea then you can do it and maybe you can share it to me how you do it so on my next video or my next tutorial I can use your idea right keep hiding Now we're going to connect our handle on the pumpkin. So just and you just do back and forth back and forth make sure your handle is secure so one more is secure okay one more <laughs> I really want to be very secure so it won't fall can hide your just poke them under to hide Ta-da! Our pumpkin is done. Thank you, thank you for watching. Hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And to my new subscriber thank you so much for subscribing and for all you guys that just visiting my channel please like and subscribe thank you so much see you on my next video bye bye god bless us all